Here's a video showing a, a few of the things that I ended up cutting out of the hanging planter video because I thought that you could pretty much figure out the project without this stuff and it was just bogging it down, but it might be useful to you. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is that I used a deck stain on that project and I like using deck stain on on things like that because you can just splash it on. It's not like regular stain that you use in, in the workshop where you know you put it on and you have to wipe it off and then you have to put a sealer or something over it. Deck stain, you just pretty much slop it on and then just let it dry and so it's really easy to use. Um, in fact, when I had a deck where I used transparent stain, that's the way I would do it is I would just get a roller with a handle on it and just slop it on <laughs> all over and just let it drip down between the between the boards and everything. So anyways, uh, use deck stain if you're going to do that. Also, I discovered at the at the hardware store they have little three ounce cans of deck stain and I was thinking, I don't know if that's going to be enough. So that's why I got the, the quart size, but I think that three ounce certainly would have been enough. So here's the stuff that uh, I cut out of the show. So I got a whole bunch of strips out of just that one board and the only problem with using this redwood fencing material is that it was really wet. I could actually feel water splashing me in the face when I was running these <laughs> through the saw. So I don't know. It's a nice sunny day out. So I kind of figured, well, I'm going to go get some lunch, let these sit out here in the sun, and by then they'll be completely dry. <laughs> All right, I brought them inside, and well, of course they're not really thoroughly dry after just leaving them out <laughs> for a little bit. They would require a lot longer than that to get completely dry. But I am just going to go ahead and use them because all of the pieces are going to be so short that I don't think that I run too much of a risk of anything warping on them. So as it turns out, these are going together pretty nicely and they haven't warped at all. They're perfectly straight. So I guess it's just because they're really small and they're, you know, not really big pieces which probably would have warped. Now for this first tier, that's the one that's going to hold the pot, so obviously I need something in there. So I have four more pieces that I'm just going to glue in like that. Now I'll just start building this up, starting with the smallest piece for the base and then going to the next larger one. Now to do that, what I'm going to do is just, this is looking straight down on top of it, just try to even it up on all sides. 